piercing a, bird, a condor's wing. Um, the first thing maybe to do is to talk about the position of the bird when you're, um, when you're going to be working on the bird's wing. So Mike's has the bird in hand. Um, he's got the bird's feet kind of out in flight position. Um, and he's you know, essentially keeping those pinned with his, with his elbow by putting a little pressure on the bird's base of the bird's tail. Um, the, work, the wing that you're going to work on is facing you. Um, so we're going to be working on this wing here, and then Mike's controlling the, he the head as well. Um, so when we pierce the bird's wing, uh, we're going to uh, part, uh, extend it, um, not completely, only, only partially, about this far, so that essentially uh, there's about a 90 degree angle in the bend in this wing, and that's the, that's the bend in the elbow of, of the wing. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, decide on where we're going to place the, the transmitter or the tag. Or, um, and so the placement on condors, um, sometimes it helps to use a little, um, a little alcohol just to get the feathers out of the way. And you'll notice this bird actually has a, a hole in its wing already, um, which Instead of piercing, we're going to go through, but I'll, I'll talk about placement now. Um, I'm going to use uh, basically the, the width of my two fingers, um, and then I'm going to pinch with, with my third finger. Um, this is the width that works for me. For others, it may be a slightly different, um, but because the hand, your hand size is different. But I'm going to place my, my index finger right against the, the, the bend in the wing, and then I'm going to pierce down. There's two um, kind of sets of tendons in the in the wing. There's one that run is that's running along the bone um, on the you know towards the inside of the wing and then there's one that makes up the kind of the leading edge of the wing. Um, the placement of the piercing should actually be quite close to that that tendon um, bundle of tendons that's running along the bone. Um, so the hole in this wing is actually a little more little sh more a little shallow than I would I would actually pierce. It's about 25 years old, so it's possible that it was pierced deeper and then just migrated out. This bird also was, wasn't pierced for a transmitter because it's a captive bird, so it's uh, possible that the placement of the piercing was not exactly uh, fitted for, for wearing a, a GPS unit. So anyways, um, so I'd actually put the, the piercing of this wing, or the piercing of this wing about, right about here, right where this, this kind of feather is located. So. When I, when I do that, and when I select that location, I, I pinch the wing there. I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, moving either layer of skin. I want to just grab the wing and hold it snug and not, not slide it around um, so that it's, it's at a position of rest. And then I'm going, to put, I'm going to pierce the wing. I'm not going to actually do it this time, but by putting the, the edge of the needle against my thumb, and right into the spot that I would, I would go. So this is essentially where I would go for this, this bird. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not actually poking anything through. The needles are, are hollow, so they have, a, they're, they're, they have a hole in them, and they're, they're, very, they're very sharp. 
And so when you're going through, it's important to, to place the, the blade of the needle, the sharp edge of the needle, away from the, the tendon. So um, don't face the tendon that you're piercing next to because if you push down through and accidentally nick that, that, that could um, be very harmful to the bird. So um, the, the process of putting a transmitter in after the bird's been pierced, um, essentially I'm, I'm not going to pierce all the way through, but um, I'm just going to go through the existing hole. But can you hold that. But I'll put this here as a, a little bit of a placeholder. So this plug, and this will protect protect the bird as well. Um, so again, the wing out extended. Again, I, I'd pierce a little bit deeper, but since this bird has a hole in it. So that the needle is actually going to go down through the bird. Um, you'd be pinching, so I'd be pinching right about here. Um, the bevel will be away from the, away from the tendons, and then I'd be going through. So once the needle is through the wing, um, you want to uh, you want to cap it with a rubber stopper, like I'm using to just as a placeholder, so that it doesn't um, it doesn't stab the bird or cut the bird on the inside of its wing. Um, and once the once the needle's placed, you can actually close the wing. You can look at the fit, um, and and just kind of examine your placement. Again, this placement's a, a little shallow because of we're going through an existing hole, but it's it's not it's not the worst. Um, but I'd, I'd definitely go a little bit deeper. The next step would be um, actually placing the transmitter on. So the transmitter, um, we've actually got two pieces. So we have the transmitter itself. Um, the, it come, when you purchase the transmitter from MTI, it doesn't come with this plastic cuff. It's just the, the, the unit and a post. We, um, we put this cuff on using uh, all flex tag material. We cut that custom. I've already given Toby the, the uh, template for that, that cuff. Um, and then we, we fit it with also a wing, a wing number tag. That number tag wants to go on and be pretty, fit pretty snugly against the cuff such that when it's all placed, it's all put on, um, there's no real major gaps and nothing's really bunched up. It's just kind of running smoothly along the inside of the, the transmitter. And that will um, be more comfortable for the condor wearing it. So now I have the, the post of the, of the transmitter. Um, and this is the real benefit of using a piercing needle is that we can just go right into the back of the piercing needle. It fits, the post will fit right into the back, like so. And then I'll slide the post through the wing um, and then the needle will come out the other side. So now the needle is removed. To um, kind of finish up, basically we're just taking the holes that you have in your, in your wing tag and your cuff and putting them through the post. And now I'm taking a, a Teflon nut and placing it on the transmitter or on the on the post. So that's just that's just on there. Now, when I tighten it down, I'm actually not tightening very much. I'm actually just just um, screwing the nut on just so that the the Teflon in the nut. So this is a, a Loctite Teflon nut. It's just threaded through um, so that it, it, it's flush with the end of the nut. So the post is flush with the end of the nut. I'm not torquing down any more than that because the transmitter really isn't meant to clamp or pinch the wing at all. It's basically just supposed to fit like a cuff um, and, and not pinch or, or really um, cause any pressure on the wing itself. So. Um, now we have a number that we can see on the underside of the wing, a number we can see on the top side of the wing when the bird is perched. Um, the um, way that you can assess your placement is how close this leading edge of the transmitter is to the leading edge of the wing. So ideally, and this is where we're, we're not um, as deep, this is why we're not as deep as I like, but you know, we don't want to be able to fit really any space or anything underneath or in, in this little space here. We should be a little more flush than we are now. But, um, but again, this isn't the worst placement. Um, 
a little, you know, the more shallow you are, the more likely you could have the bird, the transmitter kind of rolling forward, which will lead to the, the transmitter ripping out of the wing. Um, so any, any sign of a transmitter flipped up like this, where the antenna is kind of pointing out, out in space or out in the air and not running against the wing is a, is a bad sign. That's definitely not an appropriate transmitter placement. And it's one that you want, you'd like to remove um, if you can get your hands back on the bird because it's going to fall off um, on its own if, if, if you don't. So that's the, uh, the placement of the uh, microwave telemetry GPS trans or Argos GPS transmitter for, uh, for a condor on the Patagium.